welcome back guys and guys in this video we will be understanding about how do we set up the monitoring templates now a monitoring template defines what exactly you want to monitor on a particular target for example let's take if it is a database right so in the database i want to monitor the archive log area i want to monitor alert log like if there are any errors in the alert log i want like OEM should monitor it and also notify me in case there are any errors in the alert log. Same thing goes with the host. Let's take if there is a host. I want if there is any issue with the memory utilization or if CPU utilization is above 90%, it must be monitored and OEM should trigger an alert to us. Now, before we can configure the alert mechanism inside Oracle Enterprise Manager, the first thing we need to do is we need to tell OEM how and what to monitor. This is very important part. If you do not set up monitoring templates, you are not telling OEM what to monitor and how to monitor. So now what we are going to do is we will be setting up our monitoring templates. Also, guys, let's take if you see the current status of my setup, I see that like nine items are down, like two are unknown. And let's take if we don't have an alert mechanism or notification mechanism or monitoring mechanism set inside OEM, we would not get any notification regarding these targets which are down. This is the reason like we have to set up the monitoring. First we set up the monitoring, later on we set up and work on the notifications and then anything that happens inside the OEM targets, we will get email alerts. Let us start with setting up monitoring template. First we go to enterprise monitoring and click on monitoring templates. This is where we create a template specific to a target. All right, I mean target type and then we attach that template to specific targets. What I'll do is I'll create one single template for host monitoring. So you can just click on create. Now what OEM does is it by default has monitoring templates for specific targets. We don't have to actually create a monitoring template. What we have to do is we can just copy the default monitoring template which has default settings inside OEM and then we modify it according to the way we want. So what I'll do is because I am creating a monitoring template to monitor all the hosts inside Oracle Enterprise Manager, I will choose the option called as target type. So target type category, what is the category of your target? Let's take I am performing or setting up template for the host. We'll go with server storages and network. And then under this target type, select host. What OEM will do is in the next stage, it will copy the default monitoring settings, which are stored inside OEM right on the screen. Like first we have to give the name of the template. What I'll do is I'll give it some random name like host empty. This is like host monitoring template all right and then we click on metric thresholds this is what actually helps OEM monitor any target these metrics these are the ones that help OEM set up look after and closely monitor any target so the first important part is the metric, like what exactly you want to collect. The second important thing would be the warning threshold, like at what value do you want OEM to think that it's a warning and at what value do you want OEM to think that it is critical? For example, if you have CPU utilization, all right, so the CPU utilization Let's take if it is at 70%, you want to consider it as a warning. And if it is above 90%, you want OEM to consider it as a critical threshold. Now, these two values define how the particular matrix will be monitored. Now, 
by default oem will have like extensive list of monitoring properties but anywhere that you see the warning and critical thresholds are blank that means these matrix will be ignored by oem oem will not monitor these particular matrix where you see warning and critical thresholds are blank so if you want to set up any of the matrix what you have to do is you have to define the warning and critical thresholds and let's take like definitely nobody will be using all these monitoring uh, matrix what you can do is click on this one and just select this option which says matrix with thresholds this will filter all the matrix which have the threshold values now if you don't have any threshold values can you see the step empty thresholds will disable alerts for that particular matrix now the one particular matrix that i am interested would be the cpu utilization can you see this matrix cpu utilization now in my environment let's take i want a warning when cpu utilization is at 80% and i want a critical threshold when cpu utilization is at 90% now guys it all depends from environment to environment so in case if your environment is different or your client requirements are different you can definitely change it also the next matrix i would be interested in would be the swap utilization like swap i want a warning alert when it is at 80% and i want a critical error alert when it is at 90% memory utilization so it says like warning is at 99% no i want to have a warning at 75% and i want a critical warning at around 90% i think that's a good number and so on again with cpu utilization we have one more cpu utilization which is 90 sorry 80 and 95 so what i'll do is i'll make it as 90 and guys you have to be careful this cpu utilization was lpar performance on aix but this one is for linux now i will go with this one cpu steel time not a required matrix let's take if you don't want something to be gathered by this monitoring template so what you can do is let's say i want to remove this one and i just want to remove these like couple of matrix right i'll just select them total errors okay and we'll remove this fans also we don't need disk device busy percentage i think we'll keep this one file system space availability we'll also keep this one let's remove this ax one not required lvm summary statistics not required memory devices not required so i'm trying to remove all the ones that we don't want to monitor all right so in case if you want to monitor it you can keep it else you can remove it so let me select all the ones that do not apply to us what i'm doing is i'm selecting all these now there are two options guys either you can remove the warning and critical threshold values so if you remove these values by default this particular matrix will not be monitored or there won't be any alert related to this particular matrix or the second option is you can choose all the matrix that you don't want to collect or monitor and then just simply click on remove matrix from the template now can you see we have a very small sweet matrix that will help us monitor the host on our oracle enterprise manager environment now disk device busy it says warning threshold is at 80% critical threshold i want it to be done at 90% right and disk activity this will be collected every 15 minutes i think that's a good time let's take you want to change it click on this one and then you can change like by minute by hours by days by seconds like how frequently do you want the particular matrix to be monitored by oem so i think 15 minutes is a good time every 15 minute oem will check whether 
the disk device busy is crossing any of these thresholds if yes then it will pop up an error the same goes with file system availability i think every 15 minutes is a good time the cpu utilization i think every five minutes is a good thing so now our monitoring template for our target hosts are ready next other collected items this will allow you whether you want to collect something else inside the monitoring but we don't want to collect any of these things so what i'll do is simply click on ok all right and this is not allowing me to click okay it's done can you see template host empty successfully created so we have a template that is ready to monitor a particular host let me create another template to monitor probably a database so click on create target type as i said rather than you defining what has to be monitored you can actually copy the default values like oem has the default values for particular targets what i'll do is i'll just copy the matrix which is designed for database instance and just click on continue let us give a name to this monitoring template i'll give it as db empty that's database monitoring template click on ok all right so there is one issue with these templates guys if you click on ok it will directly like come out of the edit mode so what you can do is just select this one click on edit and then we will get inside the metric thresholds once again we are back to the metric thresholds what are these metric thresholds these are the default thresholds that will be monitored by oem so any threshold value which is not having a warning or a critical threshold definitely it will not be monitored all right and also if you see this one over here the collection schedule is disabled that means for alert log any of these metric will not be collected by oem even though you have warning threshold and critical threshold the problem is the collection schedule is disabled like how frequently do you want to collect alert log errors this is also one problem guys if collection schedule is disabled you won't be able to get alerts related to these particular matrix which are under the alert log right what i'll do is i'll filter this one matrix with thresholds and let's take will configure or will enable the alert log matrix because we definitely want uh, to enable the alert log matrix right so every 15 minutes is a good time i think i would choose to go with five minutes and then just click on continue now you can see the alert log is set to gather the matrix for these respective issues every five minutes all right and archival hung alert log error status greater than zero that's warning threshold and greater than two i want a critical threshold right archive area used percentage 80 percent we will be getting a warning alert and at 95 percent i think i would go with 90 percent i would want a critical alert so guys there are so many metrics which are collected by default no one would use all these metrics otherwise what happens is every single minute you'll be having an alert so what you generally do is you look after your environment and only configure the metrics which are important to your database your client your environment all right so over here we have table space use percentage 85 percent no i want an alert when it is 80 percent full and i want a critical alert when it is above 85 percent right that's a good one next is temporary file status matches offline if the temp file goes offline then definitely we want an alert so our database monitoring template is configured you can also select this option to see other collected items do you want to collect anything else you can simply enable it by setting up the collection schedule now we are fine with the database monitoring template click on ok awesome guys so the second monitoring template is also created and guys we can continue to go on creating as many monitoring templates for the specific targets as we want based on our environment 
Now, creating a template is straightforward, but just by creating a template, it will not automatically start monitoring the targets. What you need to do is you need to attach this template to the specific target. What I'll do is the database monitoring template, I will select this one and click on apply. The apply menu will allow you to attach this monitoring template to respective targets. So while you are applying a template to a target, there are two important options. Do you want to completely replace all metric settings in the target or template will only override metrics that are common to both the templates and targets. Let's take you apply multiple templates to a specific target. So do you want to override the previously applied template or you just want to merge both the monitoring templates into one without disturbing the old metric values and adding the new ones from the new template. Now the next step is like destination targets. This actually defines to which target you are applying this metric template. Click on add and we want to apply this to DevDB. We want to apply it to OEM database and we also want to apply it to QADB. I think we can perform a multiple selection using shift. So guys, I'm using, sorry, control and you just click on the ones that you want. You can see row selected three and click on select. All these databases now will be monitored based on this monitoring template and just click on finish. Awesome, it's done. But you can see one thing guys, it says pending. So it does take some time for the monitoring templates to be applied to the respective targets. Meanwhile, what I'll do is I'll start applying the host monitoring template to the respective hosts. So guys, one thing I just want to share with you is like in real time, definitely the monitoring templates are applied in a different way. So what happens is generally people create monitoring templates different for their production databases and a monitoring template for all other databases, right? So it depends like how you want to divide your environment at this stage. Our environment is very small. I'll go ahead and add the respective hosts. All right, so we have these respective hosts. I want to apply this monitoring template to the dev server, the OEM server and the QA server. Ignore the last one guys. I was performing some testing. Click on select and the monitoring template for the hosts is now applied to three servers in our environment. Click on finish. So what we have done guys, we created monitoring templates with respective metric values. What are metric values? These are the values that actually monitor the respective target, right? So while configuring the monitoring template, we also learned this. If the critical and warning threshold values are blank, that particular metric will not be monitored by the monitoring template. Now that's about the monitoring template guys. We created a monitoring template and we applied the monitoring template to respective targets. In the upcoming videos, you will understand how to manage the notifications, the events and set up the alert emails.